have some more happy mail to share. I shared these two envelopes in my live session on Friday night, but I kind of wanted to share them again in a happy mail video. The first package is from Lucia, and she said this isn't happy mail, but Lucia, it's happy mail for me. What these are are art prompt labels that Lucia uses when she does her mixed media prompts. And she already printed these off on labels for me. That was so nice of you to do, Lucia. I really do appreciate it. Very cool. Thank you so much. And I am going to use these when Cindy does not have her pick 10 prompts. I've been following along with Cindy's pick 10 in my live sessions. We've been having so much fun doing that. But on the weeks that Cindy doesn't have a pick 10, I'm going to use Lucia's prompts. So thank you so much. Lucia, you said this isn't happy mail, but yes, this is happy mail. That was very thoughtful of you to do that for me. Now this package came from Jen, and again, I opened this last Friday night, but I want to share it again in a happy mail video. Oh, she sent me some tea. I didn't see the tea. She knows I like my tea. I missed that one, Jen. She sent... She sent some... Speedy Carve, which I can certainly, certainly use. I am going to be using that. There's a little thank you note in here. And it says, Mary, thank you for the sweet eggs in Spring ATC. I hope this finds your spring has arrived in your neck of the woods. I found the washies and thought that you would love them. She sent me some gold washi tapes. Thank you, thank you. I do love, I love washies and I love gold. She also sent me some postage stamps. That's not a requirement, but yes, it certainly is appreciated. And you guys have to pay a little buck for this, a few bucks for this. And I appreciate the thoughtfulness of you doing that, Jen. Thank you so much. And she sent me two tea bags. I think I missed this Friday night. I'm going to have some tea this afternoon while I'm working on my art. Yay! This package came from Gina Ahrens. I certainly was not expecting this, but there it was in my mailbox Saturday. <laughs> so let's just open this up. Let's see what Gina put in here. I've already thanked her for this. I've had it since Saturday. Today is Monday. And I've already thanked her for it. Look at this. Just look at this. Some canvas board. Oh, yeah. I just joined a paint collab. I might be able to use that. Here's some stretched burlap. Interesting. Another canvas. Ooh, I like this one, too. A little easel. I use these little easels. I use these little easels to prop my phone up on. This one's a little bit stronger. I might substitute one of these. She sent two of them. I might substitute one of them for mine that's constantly falling. Some more stretch canvas. A core sample book here. This is just the core colors. These are fun. A guidebook to Carmel. Ooh. Can get some fussy cut images or make a glue book out of this. One for Pacific Grove Tourist Guide. Ah, ink pens. We'll come back to the ink pens. Let's see what else is in here. These are some felt. I want to call them felt bookmarks. Gina does a lot of sewing, so I imagine she made these. Oh, look, they're pen holders, right? Very cool. They've got a slot up here at the top. These are cool. Very cool, Gina. Another bag of some goodies in here.
Hmm. Huh. What is this? She's double bagged it. So it looks like it's some sort of inks. Oh, for fountain pens. Ink cartridges. Look at all of these. These are so cool. If these are universal, I'm going to see if they fit my fountain pen. I'll try one of these loose ones in here and see if they fit my fountain pen. She double bagged those inks. And here's a bag of pens and pencils. Whoa, what's this? This gold one caught my eye right away. Gotta have gold. Is this a fountain pen? Oh, it is. A gold fountain pen. Oh, be still my heart. I have a little ink extractor. I'm not sure what kind of cartridges that it takes. Let's open this up. But if this takes universal ink cartridges... We can use that. I mean, there's nothing in there. We'll see. I mean, there was no ink cartridge in here. Mary, you can't write with a fountain pen when there's no ink in it. <laughs> Very cool, Gina. I'm going to have to try this one out. And what else is in here? This one says purple. And again, I, I'm thinking there's no cartridge in these. There's a gold one and a purple one. What else does she have here? There's a black one. And there's some yellows and green markers. Not too sure what this is. Because I got my hands full of ink pens. Oh, look at this one. This says blue. Oh, these are cool, Gina. And some more markers. And that says blue. Now, let's get my hands clear here. And I want to check out this other one that I'm not too sure what this is. It's got a clip on it. It's got a little screw top there. It goes in there. Screws that way, I see. And then, oh, it's another fountain pen. Cool. And then it fits in this way. Cool fountain pens. Whee! So fun. All right, let's see what else is in this bag of goodies that she sent. Another Ziploc bag. Let's pull this out, which is... A corner punch. <laughs> Yay. Let's test it out, Gina. All right. This is a corner punch, and you put your paper in like this, and you punch it that way. Oh, look. It makes a cute, like a, a little round photo punch. Put your paper in like that. That one didn't punch. I did not punch that one right. Let's try another corner. Let's try this corner. Th these corners that aren't punching right have got the sticky side of the paper on it. Very cute little punches. Corner punch. s &H green stamp book. Oh, and it's filled. Oh, wow. How cool is this? How could you put anything in here? Now, you might be able to draw some faces on here. Hmm. Huh. I could see silhouettes, faces being drawn on here. We'll have to think about that. What else is in this bag of goodies? Let's move the box. And go through this bag of goodies here. She's got a lot of ephemera. Let's pull out some. 
Blue Book Fodder. This looks like the back of old photographs. Brownie Mix Recipe. Our favorite game, Brownie Mix Recipe. The nicest thing you ever did for me. This piece of note paper. Recipe books. I know Gina's family is putting together a family recipe book. But look at this. This one. Isn't this cool? Wow. Sewing patterns. Gina does a lot of sewing. And here's some. This looks like uh, an embroidery pattern. Fun for glue books. It's very faded out on here, but you can still, you can still, oh, look, it's a Sunbonnet Sue here. I'm not sure you all, you all are seeing that, but one could highlight those with your markers. Oh, and here, here she is here. The stitch chart. That's what this is right here. Very cool. Some more pattern paper. Ooh, how inspirational is this? Mary's thinking fine line paint applicator time here. Very fancy needlework stitches here. More recipes from Pillsbury. Buttercrumb dumplings. Yum. Apple filling. Cream sauce. Women who make a difference or circle of giving. Oh, this is what I love. Look at this. Wow, look at this. Isn't this cool? These look like they might be some echo prints. Very cool. Echo print dyeing. Rosemary Morris does a lot of this. I have not tried this, but I'm loving them. I am loving them. Looks like these might be tea dyed or coffee dyed or boiled papers, maybe. Ooh, how fun. Some paper sacks. Here's some. Ooh, neat. Off cuts of a sketchbook, it looks like. Toned paper. One could cut these and make some little mini journals. What else does she have in here? More music pa paper. Yay, music paper. Just scraps of, of ephemera paper. Farmer's, Old Farmer's Almanac. Look at this vintage picture here. Let's see, where did it go? Carpenter's Auto Lace Back. Oh, look, the suspenders have a lace back. How cool. Carpenter's Lace Back braces were so gay. They held your pants up, too. This ad was taken from an old catalog cover in 1906. And this book is dated... Well, I don't even know if it's dated, but this is an older book. This is an older Farmer's Almanac, 1969, maybe, if it came out of here. Cool. Very cool. And look, here's an old book. Girders and Skill. That's a carpentry book. Look at this. Figs Giving, Side Out of Jack's. Wow. Jack, you see, it's got Jack here. Thickness of Jack measured square back from plum cut. So those are carpenter's terms. Look at these diagrams, though. There's a roof. How cool. Scaffolding and staging. How fun. Ephemera. Fun ephemera. Acorn squash. How to recipe card. Glaze squash. Yum. And music pages. Yay, music pages. Just a few more left in here. Some more of these toned paper cuts. Very fun. Very, very, very fun. Wow, how cool. And some more here. 
this looks like mixed media paper here so fun Gina wow all of this ephemera and fountain pens and corner punches canvas I want to call these pen holders little felt ones I think I'm thinking Gina probably made these some little easels lots and lots of just plain goody art goody fun and from Jen Yates thank you Jen Yates and the prompts from Lucia McGill art prompts use happy mail <laughs> I have been blessed with so much happy mail thank you to everyone everyone this year and this past year who have sent me happy mails I am so appreciative of it may your art cart be blessed in return for all the blessings that you send when you send out happy mail Thank you for watching, and I will see you on the next page.